Hey, hey, what's up, crypto community? It's your man, Mr. Solution. How are you all doing? So on today's episode, I'm going to be walking us through the overview of FTS Exchange website. As a matter of fact, FTS is my most beloved exchange, okay? They offer the best liquidity, the highest variety of coins, a very good UI, US interface and all that. So I do the necessary to do this video as a guide to help as many of you who are interested in trading FTS, who are interested in doing things the FTS way, okay? So this video, this tutorial actually focuses on FTS, okay? We look at the various sections of the exchange, what, it, what they do and the various functions of all of them, okay? So um, if you have any question, you need clarification on anything concerning crypto, anything concerning blockchain, you can reach me through any of these, my social media channels, my WhatsApp, my Twitter and my Telegram, okay? So let's and proceed. So first of all, a research was carried out by Coin98 Trading Desk, okay? Um, Coin98 Trading Desk, they tried to know the various uh, withdrawal fee charged by various exchanges. And after this um, experiment was conducted, it was discovered that FTS is the cheapest, not just because um, they are the cheapest in terms of transaction, but because they offer zero dollars for withdrawal so anytime you want to withdraw if you are trading on fts you've made your profit want to withdraw anytime you're withdrawing you are charged zero dollars they charge nothing for withdrawal and this doesn't end here in fact all forms of all forms of maybe trading fee take a fee and make a fee and all that the their fee is the cheapest in the entire cryptocurrency kingdom in the entire cryptocurrency ecosystem okay so let's proceed to look at this um, website and what it looks like and the various features. Okay, um, this is the FTS Exchange website. You can see the beautiful um, graphic. You can see how beautiful the website is. And maybe you want to download the app. You can maybe visit for for iPhone users. You can visit the App Store. You can use the Android or you can use your Android. Alternatively, you can go to Play Store and download it. Okay, so this is. This is how um, the feature, this is how it looks like. Okay, you can see the various coins traded and all that. Okay, they have various markets, they have features markets, they have spots markets, they have leverage tokens, they have volatility, they have special, they have fiat. Okay, we'll still look at this as we progress. All right, so this is the thing markets, options, OTC, FTT, OTC over the counter, FTT, and maybe you have you need some clarification, you want to get clarified on some things, you can click on help and then you're taken to um, the blog section, maybe where you get to get clarified on any area. Okay, so these are the various um, articles written concerning some um some issues okay that you might want to be clarified on all right so that's it so let's go back to where we came from um okay so okay here if if you look at this very place you can see you can see new some coins here are tagged new what it means is that these coins we are recently listed so all these coins that have new emblem on them it means that they were recently listed on the exchange okay so that's why they're bearing the name new okay so let's check the various markets available all right so here we've shown this before you can see features you can see sports you can see leverage tokens you can see volatility special and fiat okay so each of these markets has the various way it's function each of them perform various functions and all that so the, the exchange is actually cool for everyone, whatever type of trader you are, whatever trading instrument you're using, come to FCS, okay, you have everything, okay, so let's, first of all, let's look at um, the sports market, let's look at the sports market, you can see the, the, sports, the sports market, the various coins listed, BCH, BC, USD, Sushi, USD, and all that, okay, that's the coin, the various coins on the sports market, okay, we can equally go to um, other types of market, let's also check the futures market, okay, um, perpetual futures, okay, so, okay, I want you to understand something, that whenever you come to futures, there are various types, we have um, December 20, we have September 2020, but we are checking out a perpetual futures, okay, so this is, the, these are the various coins on the futures market, the various coins and the futures market you can equally trade check the december 2020 futures okay just btc to 1225 and maybe once also want to check september 2020 futures as well okay these are the various coins there 
all right so like i said the market is actually the exchange is very good whatever type of trader it is you are come to fts you will have a swell time you have a swell time trading it and then leverage tokens okay maybe along the line i might have to do um, a video that explains how these leverage tokens work uh, we'll have to um, do a video that explains how leverage tokens work but a quick one let me just give you a brief rundown of how how the leverage tokens work okay um um if any time for let's say you're trading um the bull okay let's say you're trading s bull for instance you're using s bull as an instance what do you mean s three s long ethereum token so what it means is that anytime ethereum moves by one percent f bull will drop by one percent okay if ethereum if sorry for f bull anytime yes anytime um ethereum moves up by one percent f bull will go up by three percent please understand that i made a mistake initially anytime ethereum increases by one percent and you're buying s bull f f bull will increase by three percent Okay, the same thing also happens to um, FBI. FBI, okay, if you're trading the FBI, anytime Ethereum increases by 1%, the FBI will fall by 3%. Okay, if you're trading the FBI, Ethereum BIA, anytime Ethereum increases by 1%, FBI will increase by 3%, and the FB will drop by 3%. Okay, don't worry, don't bother yourself with this. I'm still going to do another video that explains everything about the leverage tokens market. Okay, so you also have the volatility. You are interested in trading the volatility. Look at the various coins there in the volatility market. Okay, so maybe you are interested in trading the special markets where we can have altcoin, perpetuals, DeFi, perpetuals, mid perpetuals. Okay, so these are the various coins available on the special market okay so we have we probably have the fiat markets okay you can see them here for those who are just interested in trading the fiat okay so this is the market for it okay so let's proceed having looked at the various types of markets available let's proceed okay when you click on this icon on that you can see the various options that come out with home we have the markets currently we are the market vote on listings the leverage tokens otc options Quant zone, volume monitor, leaderboard, competitors, and all that. And let's say you want to search for something, you just come here, search for whatever it is you want to. Okay, you want to search for, you'll be taken to that very place immediately. All right. So let's, um, having looked at all this, let's look at the, um, let's say you want to log in. Okay, first of all, you have to register. After registration, you now log in. But first, I want you to um, understand that. Registering here is very smooth, it's very swift. You're not, it doesn't take any time, okay? So once you click on this registration icon, you'll be taken to uh, the, the place, the platform for registering, put your email, put your password, check capture and all that, and then you'll be logged in immediately, okay? So because I've already registered, I'm just going to log in, okay? But I'm going to pause this day here now, and then I'm um, logging. Once I'm logged in, I will continue with the Hey guys, so I'm logged into the website. I've logged in with my email and my password. As a matter of fact, the email, the information you've been seeing here, they are not really my, um, they are not my main, it's not my main account. The information here is not for my main account. It's just for this tutorial. So I just have to create a new account for that. I just have to create a new FTS account for the sake of this tutorial. Okay, so having, having logged in, you can see, you can still see the features on, on the website. And let's say um, you want to use the app, you want to use, we've talked about, you just go here and then you'll be taken to the place where you can download the app, this is just an image of how the, how the app looks like on your phone, okay? So here, maybe you want to change the theme, you want to change this theme, you want to change the color, okay? You can switch between from black and white, okay? So once you click on this icon, it changes the, the background actually changes the I prefer the black black is my favorite color and also because of my eyes okay so i always prefer the black color all right so this is it then maybe you want to do some settings just go to this very place and click on the account you can see the various thing the various places you can go to the wallet the positions your current position your open order your other history your trade history your pnl your profit and loss I will just show you total profit and loss your referrals, those who have registered under you, or those who have gotten 
into the um, system, those who use the information to register. Then settings, then sub account. Okay, I'll still have to talk about on this sub account. Sub account is a situation whereby you create an, an account under another account. Okay, let's you can have more than one account on an FTS um, app on an FTS website. Let's say you've already created an account, you can equally create another account under the same account you've created. The purpose of creating this sub account is to manage your risk. Okay, so that um, let's say you're trading features, you're trading perpetual features. Money will not be taken from the money. Will, they won't be taking money. Let's say you are you're already you are you are lost. Okay, you are losing. Money will not be taken from your current balance. So if you move that your current balance to your top account, it's like a division. So they have no reason to interfere with the money on your sub account. So sub account is mainly to manage your risk. Okay, so that's for the sub account. And then okay, let's go to the wallet section. Go to the wallet, you can see balances actually, and there's no money here. You can see the various balances here. The view all account balances, manage crypto purchase via Visa credit card. Okay, you see the address. So, total value here is zero dollars. There is no money here because you just uh, initially created an account, like I said. So, there is nothing here. You can now, if you maybe want to make some deposits, or you click on this place, maybe they will show you your deposits so far. Your withdrawals, it will show your withdrawals, your positions, your liquidations, and all that, your fuels, then your conversions. Maybe you've carried out some conversion. Okay, for this conversion, it means you can convert one coin from one coin to another. You can convert from USD to USD to USD. You can convert from USDT to USD and vice versa. You can convert from one coin to another. That's the um, um, purpose, purpose of these conversions. Okay, and then Whenever you're converting, it's free. You're not that just practically everything about FTS is free. You're not charged for converting. Let's say you have Ethereum and, and you want to convert to BTC, you can just go right ahead and do the conversion seamlessly without being charged for anything. Okay, that's for the conversion. Anytime you carry down some conversions, this is where it will be shown. Okay, so let's do go ahead and then, uh, okay, like. Shareable PNL trade history. We've talked about this before. Options, leverage tokens, and then vote on listings. Okay, there is one other thing I want us to um, look at. That's on settings. Okay, let's go to settings where you have to get to set your um, account to whatever it is you want to. Like I said, this is um, this is not my trading account. <laughs> Excuse me. I just had to create it for the purpose of this tutorial. Okay, change password. Uh, you can enable two factor authentication. Two factor. The purpose of this, we already know, is for security people, so that people cannot okay access your account without your approval. Then withdrawal password, you can enable a withdrawal password. The withdrawal password is actually different from your normal password. Okay, anytime you want to withdraw, you'll be asked to put out your withdrawal password. It's for security purposes, for security reasons, so that people can hack into your account and after withdraw. Because anytime you want to withdraw, you'll be asked to put your withdrawal password. Okay, here. Withdrawal destination whitelist. You can whitelist the various um, um the various wallets, the particular wallet. Maybe once you whitelist it, so anytime you want to withdraw, you will not be asked to put any wallet. So just go to the various the particular wallet wallet you whitelisted. It will just send the money directly to that very wallet. Okay, you can enable custom logging. Maybe log out on log out of course if you want to log out. Now let's come to the juicy part of this. That is the identity verification area. Okay. Here they said individual level zero identity verification. That's my current identity now. I just have level zero identity verification. I've not verified my account. And then because of that, you'll be having 1,000 USD lifetime withdrawals. If you just register the account and didn't do any form of verification, what it means is that you can only withdraw $1,000 all through your lifetime. You can only withdraw $1,000. $1, that means you didn't do any form of verification. You just register the account and Voila, that's just it, okay? But then if you want to increase your withdrawal limit, let's go to this place and look at the conditions given. Okay, um, here you can see here for, maybe you want to do level two verification. Level one, level two is a verification actually, okay? Here okay, level one identity verification. Okay, we've already done level zero identity verification. Then level one identity verification, you'll be allowed to withdraw between 2,000 and 9,000 dollars of daily withdrawal you are allowed between two thousand and nine thousand dollars of daily withdrawal what it means is you can only you can withdraw between two thousand and nine thousand 
Okay, and then the condition for this is that if you want to do this level one identification, the things required are this. First of all, you have to put your full name, put your full country, okay, country of residence, you put it here, state, province, and all that. Then you're welcome, but not obligated to fill in the field below. They help us provide account support. Prefer chat app. Maybe they, if there is any app where you are, okay, very active or you can put it there, but like they said, it's optional. You are not obligated, you are not under any any, any obligation to put it. Excuse me. Just um just put your full name, your country of residency, your state of origin, your state province or region, and then that just it. So once you put this three information, you can overlook this, then go right ahead and click on submit verification. So once you submit it automatically, you're qualified for level uh, for level one identity verification. That means you can withdraw between excuse me. I to take some water. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so once you do that, you can withdraw between two thousand and nine thousand dollars daily. That's for the level one identity verification. And then, if you want to increase it, because people have actually been asking if they must do these three, these other levels before they can start withdrawing, the answer is no. Once you do this level, this very, once you complete this level one identity verification. You can withdraw between two thousand and nine thousand dollars, nine thousand dollars daily. Okay, but then you, let's say once you increase it, let's say level two identity verification, you want to increase it, and then um, <coughs> we switch up to this. And but then we can't be allowed to do that now because we've not really done this um, level one identity and um, level one identity verification. So once we are we are done with that and we want to um, switch it up more, we can go to level two identity verification. But please know that the more the higher you go on your um, verification, the more your chances, the more the things you'll be allowed to do with your account. For instance, if you are not, if you've not done level two identity verification, there is no how you'll be allowed to participate in the IEO. So the, one of the conditions or one of the criteria for participating in the IEO as initial exchange offering is that you must have, you must have verified your level level two identity. Okay, you must have undergone level two identity verification. So the same thing also goes, maybe you still need to go right ahead and do your level three as you'll be allowed to deposit fiat and withdraw fiat as, as you want. Okay. For the level two identity verification, you have you have unlimited crypto withdrawal, so you can withdraw as much as you want, as many crypto as you want. Okay, so that's for the level two identity verification. Okay. So let's do go ahead and then uh, let's go back to finish this very place. Okay, here for is for the referral referrals okay so it is they said enjoy discounted fees and get paid referral rebates for more information you can visit this page to understand how the referral rebates work okay so you share your affiliate link with friends family and acquaintances when your referee uses your link to register your your, your refer code will be automatically applied okay here you can equally customize it here they said create up to five custom referral links, these work identically to the standard link. Okay, so you can actually customize your own um, identity. Let's say I want to I want to customize mine. I can just come here and put um, what do I put now? Let's say Optimus Prime, one of the names I used to answer those days. Optimus Prime. Um, Optimus Prime. Okay, let me not use Optimus Prime. I can just use solution as mine. Okay, and solution. That's it. Then I create it. I create it. So I created it. So you can see here. So instead of using this, I can just maybe I want to send this to somebody. I can just come right here and copy it to and send to anybody. So instead of this and um, this number say what will be showing will be my customized and um, referral link. Okay, so we can create as up to five as much as possible, but the maximum is actually five of it. So that I can share it in various social media channels. You can share it in various groups. Okay. And then the beauty of it is that even if you change it up to five times, you're using the, the five at a time. As as many people that are using are, are using each of those referral links, they all will be coming on that. Okay, so here fees you have a five percent fee discount because of the referral. Okay, so fit fit uh, one maker fee zero percent, taker fee zero point zero six and all that. So thirty day volume and this is just the information I've and um, that will show what I've I've been able to do. The past days, but I've not really done anything, so there's really nothing to um, show there. Okay, here leverage. We have the option of selecting 
50x leverage, okay, up to 101x leverage. So you can increase it depending on your risk, depending on how good, how risk adverse you are. You can use any leverage from 1x, from 1x to 101x. So you can increase it as location demands or you can decrease it depending on how risk adverse you are. I said it initially, could use less leverage. And once you set it, you know, they will tell you that your leverage has been updated. Okay, you can equally use 5x leverage. Once you select it, they will equally tell you that leverage has been. So just select the free leverage you want for any coin you want to trade. Okay, so you could be using, let's say you're trading BTC perpetual, that's BTC futures. You could use 5x leverage for that one. And let's say you want to trade um, link futures as well. You could use 10x leverage, just set the very leverage you want to use for that very variable. I'm, I'm sure those of us who know about futures trading, we must have been familiar with this or already know how this works. So that's just it for the um, leverage and the margin thing. Okay, so maybe once you get more help, just click on this um, um, question mark and be taken to the place where you get clarified on some things. Maybe you can read up more articles on that. Right? So collateral here, they said your BTC, USDT, Ethereum, BNB, and all that. And no USD fair balance will be converted to USD if your USD balance falls below and um, 30,000 or if the moment is uh, just um, for collateral sake. Just read it up, it's very easy to understand. You can use use your FTT balance as collateral, okay? You're running short, you're, 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 you're running risk of getting liquidated, and you have some FTT, it could be used as a collateral, okay? So that's that for like an actually read it to understand more here, okay? Here we've talked about the sub accounts region. Yeah, they said, use sub accounts to isolate your margin positions from each other and limit your maximum risk from a single position. We talked about this thing earlier. You can create a sub account where you can transfer more funds, or maybe you just want to create another, and um, let's say on, on your main account, you're, you're using um, Ethereum perpetuals with 5x margin, 5x leverage. You can create another sub account and enter, let's say, um, link perpetuals with 10x and just as you know, the risk, the purpose of this is just to manage your risk, or maybe you just want to transfer your remaining balance to your sub account so that they won't be taking money, they won't be converting those money you have in your main account to as collateral. So that's for that's the purpose of the sub account. Okay, you cannot create your applications, creation time, applicant, and I've not really created any applicant, so that's why it doesn't show anything. Okay, then um, show my account in the lead, I'm showing show my account in the leaderboard. Okay, here you can see I hit, I actually hit my email. That's why it's showing here. So once I if I um, if I uncheck this, what you'll be seeing here is my email. So here's my email in the leaderboard instead of my anonymous name. Okay, you can see. So once I allow this, here yeah, what you'll be showing here is my um my email instead of my anonymous name. Okay, display. If you just wanted to change change some things, you want to change some things, show price change since midnight to this instead of just watching. Just um, or check, check and or check whatever it is and to um, fine tune it as fine tune it as you want, okay, to to suit you and all that. Okay, this list is for the language change, language switching. You can switch any language of your choice. I don't really understand all these ones, so I'm, I'm comfortable with English. So just use the English as your preferred language. Okay, so that's that for that. Let's just go to home and then um, still do a quick rundown of what we've discussed earlier. Okay, we've talked about this earlier with okay, trades. Take this one is for, for those who are trading serum currently. You can trade serum, you can stake your serum as as you desire. Okay. Here, yeah, create account, deposit collateral. I've not really deposited anything. So the next option for me now is the next thing for me is to deposit collateral, trade, and then verify my desk. Okay, these are the various steps involved. You create accounts, you deposit collateral, you trade, or you verify. It doesn't mean you must follow all these things sequentially. You can just create accounts, go right ahead and do your identity verification, deposit, and then start trading. Okay, just follow it as you want. You mustn't follow it, you mustn't go by this step. Okay, so like I said, the more verified you are, the higher you go on your verification level, the more things you are allowed to do on your account. So thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate you all. And I'm going to see you guys in the other video. And please, if you haven't registered, an account with FTS. I encourage you to make sure you have an account with FTS. I'm going to use, drop my referral link on this video at the, at the lower section of the video so that you can sign up. And then, like I said, you have anything you want to get verified on, you will have some 
information you want to be verified on or you need to be cleared on any form of anything about cryptocurrency, don't hesitate to hit me up and I will see you in the subsequent video. So you are coming your way again. I remain your sister solution.